millions of Kenyans turned out in large numbers in an attempt to choose their leaders at the national, county, and local levels after long and generally peaceful campaigns. But yesterday, August 15th, our budding democracy suffered a major setback. As a result, Kenya faces a grave legal and political crisis as a result of the actions of Mr. Wafula Chebukati, the chairperson of the IEBC. The Constitution and our laws are clear about how the IEBC should conduct its business. There is no more important role for the IEBC than the conduct, transmission, and tallying of the presidential election. We are painfully aware of the past political biases by the IEBC that plunged this country into its darkest chapter. The terrible memories of the aftermath of the 2007 elections are still fresh in our minds. In, two, in 2017, the Supreme Court of Kenya nullified the presidential election again because of the misconduct of the IEBC. What we saw yesterday was a travesty and a blatant disregard of the Constitution and the laws of Kenya by Mr. Chebukati and the minority of IEBC commissioners. The law is clear on the role of the chairperson of the IEBC. The law does not vest in the chairperson the powers of a dictator to rule the IEBC unilaterally. The IEBC is structured as a democratic institution in which decisions must be taken either by consensus or by a vote of the majority. The chairperson and a tiny minority of commissioners have no legal authority to take weighty decisions and proclaim them at the rulings of the IEBC. The law on the IEBC provides that unless a unanimous decision is reached, a decision on any matter before the commission shall be by a majority of the members present and voting. I want to repeat. Unless a unanimous decision is reached, a decision on any matter before the commission shall be by a majority of the members present and voting. In addition, the Court of Appeal in the Maina Kiai case ruled, and I quote again, reiterate as we conclude that there is no doubt from the architecture of the laws we have considered that the people of Kenya did not intend to vest or concentrate such sweeping and boundless powers in one individual, that is the chairperson of the appellant. That is why I and Azimio Laumoja, one Kenya, and the nation at large were shocked yesterday to learn that Mr. Chibukati alone decided to pronounce himself on the supposed, on the supposed winner of the 2022 presidential elections. We understand that only Mr. Chibukati alone had access to the tally of the presidential vote. He denied all the commissioners access to that information until he suddenly appeared before the commissioners in the late afternoon to present them with a fait accompli. Barely two hours before his announcement, Mr. Bukati called a meeting of the IEBC and revealed to them the different results he was going to announce. Four of the seven protested Mr. Chebukati's actions. But Mr. Chebukati, whose mind appeared made up 
did not entertain any discussion of the results, precipitating a walkout by a majority of the commissioners who promptly denounced the results at a press conference. We know what happened next. A majority of the commissioners walked out and held a press conference where they denounced the results. Our view in Azimio is clear. The figures announced by Mr. Chibukati are null and void. I repeat, the figures announced by Mr. Shibukati are null and void and must be quashed by a court of law. In our view, there is neither a legally and validly declared winner nor a president elect. <laughs> Mr. Chibukati's announcement purporting to announce a winner is a nullity. He acted with gross impunity and in total disregard of the Constitution and our laws. He could have plunged our country into chaos had our supporters not ex exercised great restraint. <laughs> Such blunt and acts of impunity can be a threat to the security of our country. It is not up to us to decide whether Mr. Chibukati has committed an offense. We leave that determination to the appropriate authorities. <laughs> but for avoidance of doubt, I want to repeat that we totally and without reservations reject the, pre the presidential results announced yesterday by Mr. Chibukati. I want to commend our supporters for remaining calm and keeping the peace and urge them to continue to do so. Let no one take the law into their own hands. We are pursuing constitutional and lawful channels and processes to invalidate Mr. Chibukati's illegal and unconstitutional pronouncement. We are certain that justice will prevail. prevail. I want to further commend the heroism of the four commissioners, the majority of the IBC, who stood up to the bullying and the illegal conduct of Mr. Chibukati. <laughs> 